Hi guys, Professor Latimer here, the CC mom who loves science, and today we're going to be talking about CC Cycle 2, Week 19, Science Experiments, and this is Paper Airplanes. So for Weeks 19 through 23, we're done using our Van Cleves book, and we're just going to be going out of our guide. So this is on page 195, it gives you a little bit of information, just kind of an outline of what to do uh, for today. But for the, for the next uh, five weeks, we're going to be building things. We're going to be engineers. We're going to be designing and creating um, airplanes, towers, bridges, catapults. Um, it's a lot of fun. So a lot of hands-on stuff for the next few weeks. And today we're talking about paper airplanes. And so I would recommend just getting um, some designs, some instructions for different paper airplanes one that we really like to use, we use these Usborne books that have, um, they have the instructions on how to build different types of paper airplanes. And it has all these fun papers on the inside that you can make fun, um, fun patterns and designs. So I've made one to show you, um, but the internet has lots of different instructions on how to make one. You could just design your own. Um, so depending on the age of your students, maybe the older students can come up with their own design. Uh, but I recommend maybe having instructions printed out for maybe a couple different um, designs just for those that may not want to create their own or or if, if they're not really sure how to, to fold them exactly. So uh, for this week, you might want to have some parent help as well, have some of the moms and dads um, help you out, maybe have several copies of your instructions out. So. Um, everybody can kind of gather around and, and work on these together um, or you can sit at a table with your students and take them step by step on how, how to build a, a specific one um, but yeah just let them have fun with creating their own um, paper airplanes and you can do some testing today too so um, I know the foundations guide suggests on week 24 to have a day where you're going to test everything that we're going to build um, but you know it'd be fun uh, for this week to, to have them test different designs as well so if you have time um, maybe have them build different designs different shapes and and test them to see you know which ones fly farther which ones stay in the air longer or do some do tricks really well to see what they observe about the different uh, types of paper airplanes that they've created and when you're um, since we're talking about paper airplanes, it's a good uh, time to discuss some of the different forces that are on um, an airplane. We've talked about um, in a previous week about um, aerodynamics, about so we had the circle of paper that we dropped and we had the cone of paper that we dropped and which one fell faster, the one that was cone shaped. And we talked a little bit about aerodynamics. And so an airplane has, um, if you'll notice, it's usually shaped um, kind of pointier or rounder at the tip and it kind of widens or or um, is longer and to best be more aerodynamic to fit through the air so it's it's kind of pushing those air molecules around the body so it moves through the air easier and, and quicker so some of the forces that are on an airplane are you have your thrust from from the engines from the the or a propeller on an airplane. So the thrust is what it's going to push your airplane forward and your drag is going to be pulling this way in the opposite direction. So now's a good time to talk about your uh, Newton's laws of motion. So for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. So if it's moving forward this way, you're going to have a force that's also going to be pulling that way. And that's from your the friction of the air molecules. So as it's pushing through, you're going to have some resistance, some pull of the air molecules against the plane. So if your thrust, if your engines are, are pushing it, um, if that force of thrust is greater than that friction from the air molecules, your airplane is going to move faster and faster. Um, but if you, you turn down the engines, turn down the amount of thrust, it will go slower because that friction is, is pulling you this way, slowing you down. Another force we have on it is, of course, the weight of the airplane that's, put, that's pulling down.
down. So they talk about gravity. We've talked a lot about gravity this year. The gravity is pulling the airplane towards the earth. And then why an airplane has wings is because it creates lift and lift is what is going to raise the airplane up into the air. And so the reason that an airplane can fly and it creates lift is because the air on the top of the wings moves faster than the air on the bottom of the wings and that creates a low pressure up here and that is what pushes so the air molecules down below the wings are going to push the airplane up because there's a low pressure high pressure and it wants to move this way because it's easier to move that way so that's your lift and you have your weight and you have your thrust and then the drag is what's going to pull it back so those are some fun things to talk about when you're building paper airplanes. And then if you want to hang on to each student could save one for week 24 and test those out um, at the end of school. So have fun with this one. Week 19, CC Cycle 2. I'll see you guys soon.